Okay, hello everybody and welcome back again in my video. My name is Balzab and today I'm gonna play Talking to My Dad. Okay, let's go. What do I press? Oh, mouse? Oh, I can use my mouse. Bubble. Where's you? Oh, that it's feet. Fucking blind me. Bubble. Bubble V. Yeah. Done. Okay. Oh, it's pretty good art. So, I met your friend's dad the other day. Yeah? What is his name? Uh... What friend? Bubble Z. I'm talking to you. You know, your friend from high school. You know who I'm talking about. My friend from high school. So many, Dad. That doesn't really help, help Dad. Come on. He's the one with me. Oh, <laughs> oh, sorry. He's the one with the. His dad works as a radiologist. We went to his office once. Maybe I don't remember. Okay, Dad. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's him. If you say so. What about him? Uh, I met his dad the other day. And? He asked about you. I told him you're going to college. I don't really know get your studying. So I said you're doing computer programming. It's interact media that Interactive what? Interactive media. It's like a mix between computer science and visual art. Oh. So, how is that different from what I said? It's not just a programming. It's also art stuff, like I also design games and experiences. It's it's really broad. Am I say broad right? I think so. You are a graphic designer. Bubble Z. Yes. You could you could have just said that. You want the radio on? Sure. Um, it's really related because when you travel, I don't know, it's just me or anybody this this, but if you travel with your dad to somewhere else, this is what happened. Like, it's very quiet, he's making start the conversation it started with a a quad question but yeah you know it's kind of fun like it's very related games like this sure okay let's turn it up Okay, ah, oh, this is good one. Can I change channel? That okay. You can change with it. You can change it if you want. Do you like it? Yeah. 
me too. So, did you see your sister's honeymoon picture? Oh, I have a sister. Okay. Uh, no. Let's see. You know, it doesn't cost you anything to check the family chat every now and then. Yeah, I know. You know, you're the only one of your sibling who isn't married yet. Okay, so? Your turn soon. Ha <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> soon. Not too soon though. You're still our baby boy. Anyway, how is your friend Jess doing? She's good. And... And what? Just that? Are you gonna be a roommate? She's going to be my roommate next semester in New York. Oh! What? Oh! Not soon, not soon. You're very close friends, aren't you? Yes. Hey, close friend. Okay, that's good. Friends are important. Noted that friends are important. That's true. Say... You got your main camera, right? Careful. What do you mean careful? Well, you know... What? Do you know what's gonna be- Oh my god! <laughs> Dad, we are just a roommate, okay? Oh my god! Please no! I'm being serious. Condoms are important. You always need to wear one. It's not just about getting someone pregnant. It's also... STDs. It's very dangerous. I thought it's O. Even if there's no penetration, even from just a brush stroke, do you know what a brush stroke? Um, Dad, please stop. We're gonna upload this on YouTube, so please stop, Dad. I'm begging you, please stop talking. It's when you're all oh my god, okay? You should still wear a condom, okay? Is it safe though? <laughs> I don't want to say it. Is it safe? Do you have condom? Do you need me to buy this some? Oh, yes, I have. I have. Okay, yes, that I am fine. I have condom. No, I don't need to buy. You, I don't need to buy some. Oh, okay. Are you sure? Sure. Yes, extremely sure. One hundred percent. Fine, fine. I just want to make sure. I know you're very mature, boy. I know you. I know you don't need me to tell you any of this, but I'm just making sure. I'm your father. This is normal. We talk about this. Um. Yeah, it's normal, but it's not the right time. It's not the right time, Dad. You know what? Yeah, you know that, right? Yes, Dad, I know. You know that we care a lot about you, right? Your mom, your sisters, your brother, your aunts, your uncle, and your grandma. We all love you very much, and we miss you very much. Do you miss us too? When you go to college? Of course, of course, of course. It's very relatable, oh man, come on. <laughs> yes, Dad, of course I do. So then, did we do something wrong? Did we ever do something to hurt you? Are you mad at us? Mm, no, no, Dad, I'm not mad. Can I 
change the channel? I, I, I want to know. You didn't do anything. So what? Why is it? Why do you never answer our calls? Sometimes we go weeks without hearing anything from you. Weeks. You know that's not normal, right? Your mom and I were worried. We don't know if you're okay, you're, if you're sick. We don't even know if you're dead or alive. Do you not care about us? That we feel this way? Of course I do. So then what? Should we just call your friend instead? To know that you're okay? Uh, I'm not gonna answer that, but... Eh, they don't do that. You know, I hate when you do that. And you think what? That I enjoy it? You keep giving us reason to. What else are we supposed to do? Why don't you talk to us? It's difficult to... I don't know. It is difficult to explain. And explain it. We have time. What's going on with this family? Uh, I don't know. I don't know much about this story. So, well, sometimes I just don't feel like talking. Sometimes you're telling me that you don't feel like it for entire weeks. Even then, you can't even send us a quick text to let us know you're okay. Why can't you at least do that? Bubble G, can you please talk to us more often? Can you try? Okay, sure, whatever. Can you promise that you won't ignore our calls anymore? And can you promise that you will start calling us more often when you go back once every once every few days? Mm, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Are you unhappy? I mean, are you still depressed? Hmm... Am I depressed? I'm okay, I'm fine. Really? So, what you told me on the boat last month? I guess you got better? Yeah, I guess. Oh, so I'm... I... I was depressed. I don't want to call my family because I'm... I have something? Okay, it's interesting. You know, when I went to study in France, I was also very sad for a while. Your father too. He kept telling us how much he wants to come home. What I'm saying is, you can always come back home if you want. You can take some time off. We love you. We would be very happy if you were here. There's your family and your friends and your home. I don't have friends here. What? Of course you do. What about that boy? The one we were talking about earlier, Karim. Mehdi. We're not even friends anymore. Why do you say that? We haven't spoken since like high school. Oh, well, you have other friends, and you have us. You will have us? I'm just saying that if you were to stay here, that is not college. I like college. So what is it? You talk to your coach about it? My coach? You know, the, the man you told us about? He's my therapist! It's not a coach. 
you know uh, that's what I meant. What do you, you talk to him about? That I'm depressed and anxious. Okay, this is good. I want to be more open with my dad. Okay, I want to be open with my family. Come on. We all feel that way sometimes. It's not sometimes. Most day I will wake up and I... I... I just don't want to do anything. Cooking, work, laundry, going out, even the stuff I know I enjoy like playing video games or whatever. I try to think about doing those things but all I find is hopelessness and worry, hopelessness and, for and worry. And I try to get out of it that I try but it's so hard, it's like I'm paralyzed. Even when I manage to force myself to do the cor course or whatever, I'm still, I still feel bad. All I can think of is how I'll never be able to do this one or this other thing and that it, it'll be like this forever. It doesn't matter how much I distract myself, it's always here. Oh, I mean there. I don't remember the last time I really felt happy. Oh. And this started last semester during the lockdown. Know that it started. Honestly, I don't know. I can't remember even not feeling this way. But you're fine. When you were a kid, you were happy. You did do, you did so many things. You got into college. You had good grades. All your teachers liked you. Yes, but I wasn't happy. I was kind of miserable. So you're telling me if you've been depressed since what? Middle school? I don't know that. It's hard to remember and think of it like objectively, but I don't remember being happy. happy. But why? Why is that you worry so much about? My future, I guess. What about it? Well, I don't know. It, I'll find a job or like where I live or other stuff. That's normal, Bubble Z. Of course, you don't know what you're talking, what you're doing next. That's normal. You don't have to worry about it. I know that. I know. Even if you don't find a job, you always have us. We can support you. You can come back home. You don't have to have everything at once. I know all that, that but it doesn't help. No matter how many times you say it, I, it doesn't make me less anxious. And that's not all there is, it is to it. It's just a fraction of the stuff I worry about. Well, maybe if you stop telling yourself those things. I know, I know, I know all this that. That's why I have my therapist. I really don't need you to tell me this. And every time you try to tell me what to do anyway, it just makes me angrier. And I know it's not rational to be mad at you when you're really just trying to help that, but it doesn't, re doesn't help. So please, 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 please just let me be. What? You're telling your own father that you don't want him to be involved in your life? No, I didn't say that. You know, I have more experience than you. How do you expect me to be just... I'm saying don't give me advice unless I ask for it. And I will. I ask, I ask for it if I need. 
Uh, but but right now you just you're over overwhelm me with your thoughts about everything. It's really tiring. So please, Dad, promise me this. Promise what exactly? That you stop telling me what you think I should do unless I ask for it. I don't know if I can. I worry too, son. I can't just stop doing it. Okay, well, how about this? If you can promise me this, I will tell you. I'll tell you something I've been keeping from you for a very long while. <clears throat> What is it? Can you promise? Fine, okay, I'll do my best. Okay. <laughs> uh, is, is it meme, meme or what? Okay. Mm. I'm gay. <laughs> okay. That's one, that's one. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm not expecting the end of it. I love it, the style, I love the story, it's very relatable and it's make me sad a little bit but I like this game that have a strong story about it. Okay, that's it for today. It is talking to my dad. I hope you enjoy it. Like this video, subscribe this channel and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.